Okay, so don't do what I'm about to do because I I can't even begin to explain how bad of an idea this is. So we're gonna go to standard and we're going to play in solo cell found ruthless. Now that's not a bad idea. That comes next. Okay, mech ruthless CZ. So not only am I obviously not playing a cold dot occultist, which is kind of like the go-to for ruthless. I'm not going to be playing a spell at all. I'm going to be playing a, an attack build. Am I going to die to Hillic? Am I, ooh, I might die to Hillic. <laughs> Let me pay attention here. Oh, and down he goes. And there is our quick step. This is the only movement skill that we can use. It's kind of like a scuffed dash from what, I, from what I've read. Yeah, it's basically like scuffed dash. Now, the skill I want to use is one of the steel skills. We actually get one right here. Yes, yeah, splitting steel, but that's not the one I want to use. Or, well, I'm going to use it until I get my actual steel skill. So for now, let's take the splitting steel. You know what? This doesn't actually feel as bad as I thought it was going to. I think it's because it's just a newer skill and you get impaled very early on. So it actually feels pretty good right now. That is going to change rather quickly, though, because, well, the problem with running an attack skill. Also, this is a nice hat. Look at that. Fantastic. The problem is that we have to upgrade our weapon a lot because while attacks do have some scaling it's nowhere near as good as it is on spells and uh, finding weapons in ruthless is going to be rough okay this is already feeling a little bit scuffed okay in go the glyphs and i suppose we can hop back to town i don't know which gems i'm gonna get actually sniper's mark ancestral protector decoy toad and puncture vigilance strike and blood and sand i think i'm gonna get sniper's mark because these are projectile attacks all of the steel skills are actually oh you absolute clown of a game so not only is my first rare a moa a moa a roa which hurt like hell but i rolled extra life and physical resistance which are literally the worst things it could have rolled please just I have nothing. <laughs> oh no. Die evil villain. There we go. That took a that took a while. Oh, there's our first support. Uh, unfortunately, it's our kin surge, which we are never going to use. Hmm. The single target could use a bit of help, honestly, but doesn't matter. There goes the crab. Oh wow, that is so lucky. That's my first rare, and we can actually use it! And it's not half bad. It'd be better if it was Fizz, but I'll take it. Hmm. Holy Flame Totem, you say? I mean, yeah, sure. It's not the totem I want, but any amount of extra single target is good. Look at him go. I mean, the totem's already paying off. Look at him go. Just killed his big brother. What a champ. And down goes the goat boy. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, that's trial number one, and I also got this nice chainmail vest, which actually has a life, mana region, that's very good. Hell yeah, let's go. Please, Brutus, just die. My, that was horrible. <laughs> that was really bad. I'm really not sure whether I should pick Enduring Cry, or if I should go for Vitality. Like, I'm gonna go for Vitality because, you know, auras are good, but... I think I would rather not have Vitality than not have Enduring Cry, if that makes sense. The other two are just worthless, but I think I'm actually going to pick Enduring Cry over the Vitality. Okay, so now we finally get the Shattering Steel skill. This is a better version of the skill that I've been using up until now, and there's actually another skill that you get later on that's also a Steel skill, but I don't like that one as much. Oh. Oh my god, look at that, dude, that is so much better. And the level up, this is going so well. Okay, so this took a bloody while, but down goes Saber. Please be good. I need the damage, dude. I need the damage. Oh, oh, it is, oh, it is attack speed as well. That's so good. Thank you. Oh my god, that's going to be such a massive upgrade. Oh shit, our first ring, and it's a res one as well. That's actually very nice. Man, this saber was such a huge drop. Look at it just ripping through the dude. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, there we go. There's Act 2 town right there. This is an important town because this is where we unlock Ionar. Hello, buddy. 
Oh, you're a chunky boy, aren't ya? Haha, <laughs> not chunky enough, though. Sheesh, I need a better mana flask, but... Yeah, there goes Creighton. That's the first bandito uh, down. A lap trial uh, number two. Man, that holy flame totem was such a nice drop. It is helping out a lot. Okay, and that's the third trial finished. Fabulous, fabulous. You know what? I'm not actually going to take Blood Rage because even though it's the obvious choice here, I've always been really bad at keeping it up. And I'm going to take Corrupting Fever instead, which makes no sense, but it's going to help a little bit with single target. And it's also going to add some damage over time, which I think stops Energy Shield regen. Yeah, look at Anar being an absolute boss. Yes! What a bro. What a bro. So down go the blackguards. So what do we actually get? Uh, hide unusable. Lone Antler Talisman. Uh, okay. Show me what you got. What? <laughs> Why is it unrolled? That's so bad. <laughs> Don't you dare DD me again. Come on. There it goes. Alira, a down. Spidey, Spidey, go to sleep. And shunk. Nope, one more. There we go. Ooh, plated gauntlets. What do we have here? Rarity, life. Oh, very nice, very nice. Do I have the sockets? I do. Please don't war cry, don't war cry, don't war cry. Oh. My god, that took like at 50 billion hours. What is that? Blade Trap. Wait, that could actually... Hold on a second. That could be good because, yeah, that uses your weapon. That could actually help me out a little bit. And god knows I need all the help I can get right now. Okay, so, since I'm passing through here anyway, I might as well pick up blood magic to get some extra life and fix all my mana issues and later down the line actually use some blood magic skills to um, get extra damage because there are some nodes, like, uh, which one is it? That's the armor node. Is it this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cannibalistic right. Increase damage with skills that cost life. I really need to upgrade my weapon again because while the Vile is almost dead, come on, come on buddy, come on, there we go, it took a bloody while to take him down. Now even though normally you don't really notice this, the game does have a few points where it gets more difficult, one of them is Act 3, so I'm kind of worried about Act 3, you can see these guys ripping me apart, and then another one is actually in Act 5, Act 5 is significantly harder than Act 4. I'm actually kind of scared of Act 5. There it is, call to arm. So we can finally put Enduring Cry on our left click, which is much nicer. And come on, boys. There we go, that's another lap trial finished. You know, this is actually kind of nostalgic for me because I remember when Path First launched, I made a Marauder on the launch weekend and I was playing with, I think, Cleef. I had a shitty sword and a shield, kind of like this. And I made it all the way up to Piety in one go and then proceeded to get my shit pushed in <laughs> for like 30 minutes because she was so strong back then. Hello Arming Axe. Are you any good? Not really. It's a better base though. 107. 115. It's actually better. Okay, we're almost there. Just one more lap trial. Oh, here comes the spitty boy. What the... What? That was a lot of damage. What was that? Was that just like... I must have top-ended him just over and over and over again. Wow. Oh ho ho, what do I spy with my little eye? That is our first strong box. Please don't be horrible. Skeletons, that will do. Oh, oh that was a pop. Oof. What do we get? <laughs> Single transmute. <laughs> Please, baby, I need a better amulet. I'm gonna take the jade because I'm always short on decks. Give me the talc. Okay. Please be okay. That'll do. That'll do. Decorative as all oh, that attack speed though. I kinda don't want it to be good. Um But uh Oh, it is good. How big of an upgrade is this? 128. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have enough sockets. This axe sucks so much. Look at the attack speed of this. But finally, down goes a Gravisius. <gasps> Ooh, baby!
JB, look at that! Oh, it's a... Um, that, I know what this is. It's um, Igramon, yes! Rarity, that's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. The fire res, evasion is whatever. The fire down, that's all a flat fire. Nearby enemies are black. That's actually really nice. I'm gonna... Yeah, I don't have enough decks though, but that's okay. I would rather have the Ignamon. Alrighty, so with this level, we finally get a Resolute Technique, which should help a lot. Yeah. So you saw I brought back your pages and we get an uncarved gemstone, which we can use to buy something. I have no idea what I want to buy. So the decision has been made, and it's probably a stupid decision, but I'm going to take General Scry and link it to Double Strike and use that as my left click. It would probably be a better idea to take a totem, like the basic ancestral totem for the attack speed, but I'm going to try General Scry. And down, I said, and down <laughs> goes Piety. I really need to get rid of this axe, it is so slow. Are you good? No, you're not. Yo, look at them double strikes! Let's go, boys! Come on. Hey, I love that. General Scry is so cool. And with this click right here, we can officially enter the labyrinth. Hello, mate. I brought you your plum. I'm gonna take the coral ring. Please be, like, at least decent. Oh, flat. That could not have been any better. <laughs> look at that. Okay, so it's been really rough. I'm struggling a lot. So my plan right now is to farm normal lab and just open like log boxes and troves to hopefully get some upgrades. And if at any point I get some good dark shrines or I'm feeling good about the run, I'm gonna try and ascend, which is going to help a lot as well. Okay, first box, we get feeding fr <laughs> Why do you do this to me, game? Why? Why? You know I love playing minions. Why would you give this to me? Okay, I always forget that Izaro is just not that strong anymore, so I think I can just straight up ascend. That wasn't that hard at all. Okay, so he ended up getting a buff again, but only one. So while it's not ideal, it's not the worst. Uh, movement speed, please. No shot! Oh, 20%! Yes! Oh, I am a speed, look at me! Let's go! First try! That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> and I have four keys as well. But first, we need to ascend before I disconnect. We are gonna select the champion. Ascend! Yes, and we are going for the Impale note first, so Master of Metal. Okay, that's not amazing, but it's you. Can you get out of the way, please? It's usable. I can use that. Finally, a trove. Um, this took a while, actually, but let's see what we get. Bugger all. Varicite, var Varicite Blade. 1-3 attack speed. Little bit better than the axe. So, please. Oh, it's huge. It's huge. Look at the fire. That, that's so... And it, oh, I'm free. 406 to 577. And with these last few swings, we conclude... No. 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 Not another axe. Oh, that's actually not bad. <laughs> this sword is so good. It's not like perfect. It would have been better if it had fizz damage, but I'll take it. Mr. Shield, are you any good? You are! I can finally get rid of this piece of garbage. Hey, let's go. So far, the damage actually seems to be pretty good. My comb's going down relatively fast. But I will have to upgrade my weapon fairly soon. And... Pop! There goes Dereso. Oh, get out of here, dude. That's my second minion support. And with Malachi going bye-bye, uh, we are done with Act 4. Now on to Act 5, which has me worried a little bit. Uh, uh, the damage still seems okay, which is nice, but I'm gonna have to make some upgrades, otherwise Innocence is gonna be an absolute nightmare. Hello there, Mr. Secutor Helm. Are you any good? You actually are! Very cool. Well, I guess I'm gonna get the granite. Seems like the best option here. Please, please... Thank you. Oh my god, that was horrible. <laughs> I need a better weapon. I deserve something good for this. What do you have? That is... yeah, I'll take it. I can finally get the totem. 
There goes another book of skill, fabulous. And the other one is a weapon. Wait, yo, look at that. That is a huge sword. These are kind of whatever, but that is a huge sword. I guess it's time to drop the one ancient shield and go to edge because this is going to be like my best in slot weapon for a very long time. I think it's going to take a while before I find something better. Oh my, that's so big. Oh, and the fire is, that's so perfect for Act 6. <laughs> yes. Just look at the damage. It is so much better than... Wait, Onslaught Flask, let's go. Oh damn, plus one fire. All right, I'm not going to use it probably, but I might keep it just in case. That's a nice thing to have. It's coming right for us, everyone. Free. Pop. And that's that. On to Act 6 we go. Ho, ho, ho.